01912326565. Let's uh, bring in someone who definitely knows their P's and Q's. Grant Harold, former butler of Prince Charles and now a Royal and British etiquette consultant. Good morning, Grant. Good morning, Alfie. Thank you very much for that. I don't know whether I should bow to you or <laughs> curtsy. <laughs> you know a lot about where the elite meet to eat. Uh, I know a little bit. And uh, what is it like? What, how do the other half live? Uh, do you know, it, it was funny because uh, I find this a really interesting subject and I've been listening to the, the programme this morning and the the fact people say, there's, the, is there a class system, is there not a class system? I, I mean, I, I personally believe there is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's quite what it used to be. I think it's the, the boundaries have changed. Mm. And it, it's quite complicated because I think was it last year they said that there was there was a the, the class system was now into seven different sections. Mm. <laughs> so I don't even know how yeah. or where you'd put people. It's in. very murky. The, the the waters have muddied, haven't they? I there were seven they areas. There was a sitcom guide to these new classes, Grant. Uh, so you still had the elite. Yes. Um, which would be uh, General Melchup from. Blackadder goes forth, that type of <laughs> yes. braying, bellowing character. Then you'd have the established middle class, described as Margot and Jerry Ledbetter from The, the Good Life. <laughs> then the technical middle class, and that's an interesting one, David Brent from The Office, technically middle class. Okay. Then the new affluent workers, so on the rise, Miranda from Miranda. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, then traditional working class, so you've got Jim Royal from The Royal Family. Mm-hmm. And then the emergent service workers. So that's like Morris from the IT crowd. So young nerdish living at home with their mum. So this <laughs> smashes to pieces the old upper, lower it, and middle class, doesn't it? It, it does. And I think it confuses it confuses me because you think, well, <laughs> where do you even put yourself into that? Uh, where I suppose in the past it was... Uh, in the past, you know, 100 years ago or even further, mm. I, I suppose it was really simple because... Just by your your wealth or your the way you lived was was what your class. Yeah. So if you lived in the in one of the palaces or some big stately home, you were obviously the the kind of wealthy the the upper class. If you were sadly in the slums or working in the workhouses, you were the you were I think it was called the the, the lower class. Yeah. Uh, Surely the royal family are still extremely posh. Do you know it's it's, a, it's an interesting one because you've got to remember the, the royal family. The, the it, it's changed over the years. Mm. Uh, again, I was talking to somebody about this at the weekend because you look at uh, recent marriages and in, in over the last couple of decades. And at one time, royals always married royals. Mm. So it was you know princes would marry princesses or princesses married princes. When now uh, they'll Congress. marry. Commons. Yeah, they'll marry from any any kind of um, kind of background. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to um, have a title or anything to marry into the royal family. Does pr- would Prince Charles ever nip to the pantry and make yourself a corned beef sandwich? Uh, I couldn't say. That's a no. <laughs> That's a definite sadly, no. Isn't I couldn't it? say. But the thing is, um, you know, I think a lot of these families that have got the staff, I mean, they've got them there so that they, they do things for them. I mean, that's why you've got butlers and housekeepers and, and all the rest of it. But it doesn't mean to say that, they, that people can't do things for themselves. And, and I don't think, uh, again, going back to the, the class system, whatever your class is, I mean, anybody today, anybody today could uh, just about have a butler. And, y- and you train them. You train up butlers. Who I the do. hell? Who the hell uses butlers, Grant? Do you know it's it's still the same as the oldies. You still have all the 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 kind of the people of the big stately homes, mm. and obviously the royal family. Uh, but I've noticed today you've got uh, the lottery winners, the people that come into money. And... Exactly what I was going to ask you. We did a story last week. We've had a hundred and twenty odd lottery winners in the northeast since the lottery began. Mm-hmm. So seriously, you know, commoners who've won a, mm-hmm. a good amount on the lottery, they would employ a butler. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, the reason they'll. they'll I think the reason they'll take a butler on, or if you want to call it a butler or a personal assistant, people seem to class it as a two these days, uh, because they can, if you've never had money, if you've never run a big house, you don't know how the, the staff inside of it works, you bring a butler in and he basically runs your house. He'll almost kind of say to you, this is how you're going to do it. This, oh, this is how I'm going to do it, and all you've got to do is just tell me your diary, your movements, when you're home for your meals, where you need to go, and the butler... Uh, plans the, the life around them. So that's why I said a bit like a personal assistant, which is mm. why you've got so many new um, millionaires today that that's why you've got the, 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 the butlers or traditional butlers or housekeepers or, or PAs yeah. uh, helping them organise their the, the lives because would, otherwise... Would you, would you see a day when you'd ever employ one for yourself? 
Would I employ one? I'd love a butler for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually, but I, I'd be trying to find one just like myself. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> Great to speak to you and uh, to meet you. Grant Harrell, their former butler of Prince Charles, now a royal and British etiquette consultant and a butler teacher. Um, Andrew in Newcastle says a sheer sign of poshness is the family in a restaurant with a kid.